welcome back in this tutorial we will learn stepner how to create draft and how to apply material so click on start mechanical design part design ok then here if you click on the arrow of this solid combine there is stepner is there so it is grey because there is no object to create the stepner so at first we will create some object take the sketch we will make the pad from it ok and again one more vertical plate we will be creating So we just coincidence it again pad fifty. So I want one stepner here. I want one stepner here on this vertical plane. So at first select this vertical plane. I want to create it on this vertical plane. Select this plane then click on sketch then create the line take the line command create one line then click the end point of the line press and hold control and click this point on the object then select constant define in dialog box coincidence ok same way on other end also this point control this point constraint define in dialog box coincidence ok so this line has been created then click on exit workbench isometric zoom fit now using this line we want to create a stiffener so go to solid combine click on the arrow and click on stiffener then you can here you can give the thickness how much you want Then here, if you select the neut neutral fiber, it will come exactly symmetric around that sketch. If you remove this neutral fiber, it will go on one side. And using reverse direction, you can change the direction on which side you want it. then depth reverse if sometimes some problems happens then you can also reverse this direction now on this opposite direction there is no constraint constraining object is not there so it has given a topological operators error so just ok reverse direction again so this direction also you can reverse it if required so in this way suppose I want it at the center so in this way it has been created you can check the preview and click on ok so in this way you can create the stiffener using one line same way suppose if you want to create a stiffener between two cylindrical objects suppose I delete this and create two cylindrical circles actually so this is the one circle this is the other circle exit workbench and suppose I want to extrude these two circles by different height so for that I can use the pad then at this profile surface you have to right click and you will have to go to profile definition then select this profile ok then give the height how much you want and ok for, for this also the same pad then here right click profile definition select this other cylinder ok and give the depth suppose I want it to be 40 so in this way or I want it to be 30 
so in this way from single sketch you can create two different pads also so right now my target is to create one stiffener here in between these two so again my stiffener will be on the vertical plane here so I will select that plane sketch click on sketch zoom fit then create one line here then select this point select the point actually control this line then constant define in dialog box coincidence ok same way on this side also this point this line then constant define in dialog box coincidence ok now you cannot coincidence to this point and this line actually this complete lines are selected so in this case you will have to give the dimension actually so for that at first we will give some dimension to this circle so we will just exit from here right now and we will go here part body and this is sketch sketch 4 double click sketch 4 and give some parameters to these circles using constraint suppose here we will give 40 diameter and here we will give 60 diameter that is 60 and 40 then exit workbench now double click this line again constraint so from this axis to this point it needs to be actually it is 60 so we will have to give it 30 radius of 30 so we take we have taken a 60 diameter so we will give radius of 30 so same on this side constraint this point and axis and again here 40 was the diameter so we will give distance of 20 then exit workbench now if we try to create stiffener using this line actually it will give a error so what we have to do actually double click cancel it double click this line so we will have to create small lines here all at the end all end of this current line so take the line command create one small line here and one more small line here so so that it will merge properly with the cylinders then click on exit workbench zoom fit then click on stiffener so here now it is properly created give the thickness and same parameters are same you can use neutral fiber if you want it 50 50 on both side then click on ok so in this way you can create stiffener between two cylindrical parts now we have created stiffener using from side you can also create stiffener using from top so we will see how to create that from top so we will just delete this ok and we will increase the height of this suppose to 40 and we will just create a shell we will make it hollow using shell command shell thickness we are given 1 mm suppose then faces to remove is this surface we want to remove ok so we have created this shell now here I want a structure of stiffeners so at first I will have to create one sketch so click on sketch then zoom here and click on this surface then zoom fit and create a wave of stiffeners so using line command just double click the line so that it will we can use it continuously we don't have to go again to line command and click it again for that we have to double click it so we will create one structure some structure
then exit workbench then select the option stepner again now it has already automatically taken the from top and it has already extended up to the corresponding limits then here you can give the thickness what is the thickness you want if you want it from the center or you can re remove neutral fiber and give it on one side and using reverse direction you can ok this direction actually so we will need it down only and if you want actually on one side is 5 and other side 7 so that is also possible in this from top option then click on preview so in this way this structure is created so in this way you can create stepner using from top option then next we want to learn the draft tool so we just delete it zoom fit ok now we want to learn the draft tool so here is the draft so draft is use, useful in forging and molding where draft angle is very important so how to apply draft click on draft angle then here you have two faces to draft which face you want to draft suppose I want to draft this face and this face then you have to give the neutral element suppose I give if I give this surface that means the dimension of this this end will remain the same and dimension of other end will increase or decrease depending on your angle so I will give this surface as a neutral element and here you can view the preview so in this way the draft is created away from this line so following portion dimension is increased and upper portion dimension is kept as it is so neutral element will be the side where you want to keep the dimension same and if you click on ok and if we view the top view zoom fit so here on these two side draft is created you can double click and here 5 degree angle has been given and you can reverse the draft by clicking on this preview so it will go inside the object that means it will reduce the size below so in this way you can give the direction also to the draft on which side you want it then next will be if we click on this more option then there is limiting element you can specify suppose if I specify this plane as a limiting element so draft will be created up to that plane only ok or we click on ok so in this way draft is created up to that plane only in this way you can give limiting element then parting neutral that we will see what is that or draft on both side ok or right and suppose if my neutral element is in between suppose I delete this draft then I double click this and make it mirror extend so from plane on both side it will be created if again I take this draft angle option then faces to draft I will take this one then neutral element suppose I give this horizontal plane in between this horizontal plane that means this line will remain the same so I will select this plane so this line will remain at the original dimension now you can click on preview so here you can view that actually upper portion got smaller and bottom portion got larger and the center portion remain with the same size so in this way you can create a 
draft by taking a plane also and if we go for this more option here and suppose we want to defend parting as a neutral neutral as a parting line and in now if you see the preview so draft is created only on one side and if you want it to be on the bottom side then click on this arrow arrow here click on preview so it will be created only on bottom side so in in this way you can create draft on one side also and if you want it on both sides then click this draft both sides then ok so it has created draft on both the sides if we double click it so in this way you can create draft on one side on or both side also so that is a draft tool ok we will delete it then in draft there is one more other draft is there that is ok before that we will see this variable angle draft variable angle draft then again same procedure give the angle give the faces to draft then define the neutral element this top surface then here you can see two angles has been shown so you can change those angles suppose I want it to be 10 degree preview suppose I want it to be outside so I will click on this direction preview so if we view from the top preview we preview on actually we will say it ok so here a variable draft is created variable angle draft is created if we double click it and if we want to define some point in between so for that here on two elements right click and click on create point and click on this line and define where you want the point at what distance you want it ok then change the angle what angle you want there suppose I want it to be 15 preview so in this way 5 15 and 10 in this way you can create a variable angle draft also now next we will see apply material so from here you can apply material click on apply material then select there are different types of material has been given suppose I want to apply some paint so just select it drag it and drop it here and cl click on ok to see that material effect in the current window click on this shading with edges and select here shading with material so it will show the effect of that material here suppose if you want to change it again apply material suppose I want it to be aluminium click there ok so aluminium is applied and if we see the if we click on this measure inertia and select this part body so it it has taken the density aluminium density automatically so whatever material you apply as per that you will get all the mass mass you will get the mass as per that material so in this way you can apply the material click on material so different types of material is there suppose I want this, want this canvas so in this way this material is applied so here is here is this canvas that has been applied if you don't want, want it delete it so it will be removed so in this way you can apply material so th if you want to watch the next lecture or if you want to see the exercises you can visit this video if you want to wa watch next lecture you can visit this video 
if you want to see the complete playlist you can visit this video uh, this playlist here and you can sus sus subscribe from here so that's all we will stop here thank you